check out this place I found. This is what I love about just walking. This is what I do when I first come to a city I've never been to. I get out and I walk the whole city. But I'm about to turn the camera around and y'all gonna see the beauty of what I'm seeing. Check this out. Wow. Iglesia de San Francisco. Cali, Colombia. Ha, huh, so beautiful. That's the church I showed y'all a moment ago on the side. This is a massive church. This might have been the first church in Cali, I'm guessing. Or La Iglesia Irmita. Whichever one is first, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Ha, huh, so beautiful. You know what? I'm liking Cali. The more I've only, this is my first day here. And I just, this is my first time walking around the city. And I'm liking it here. I mean, the weather's not that hot. It's, it feels like a beach town because the breeze is constant. There's constant breeze. We're three hours from the closest beach, I believe, from the ocean. We're three hours from the ocean, but there's a, definitely a breeze here. The sun is hot, but the humidity is not that strong. So I feel the sun, but it's not overwhelming, if that makes sense. I could tolerate this. I kind of wish I came years ago. I stayed away because I was afraid of the heat come from Houston, Texas, but it's not that bad at all. I mean, I'm wearing shorts, that helps. I've noticed that a lot of the Colombian guys wear pants, they do here, but some wear shorts, so I'm pretty sure I look like a foreigner, especially with this camera, I'm talking English out loud, but whatever. Anyways, stay tuned. This guy has a wood one too, but it's all wood, even his trailer's made out of wood. That's super cool, huh. I would do that business, I like that. <laughs> but I'd probably drink all the juice myself. One thing I'm noticing as a, as a trend here is crossing the streets is a chore. You just gotta wait till opening happens and you run. Because there's no cross lights. I mean there are, but not as many as in Medellin. So it's all about just waiting for your time and hurt going across as soon as you can. So if you, if you can't move quick, you might have trouble. I made it, I made it. But of course, there's other countries that are worse, like in India or, or Vietnam or those countries where it's constant chaos in the streets with the motorcycles and stuff. But anyways, we carry on. So you guys know where I'm at right now. I'm at Carrera 9 with Calle 6. That's where I'm at. I forgot to tell you guys. But we're walking, we're walking. Let's go. Right, crossing the street. We're walking. I'm trying to get to a park called, uh, I believe it's called San Antonio. They told me that's a good, cool part to, cool place to check out. So let's go that direction. Also, what they told me is like right now it's two o'clock. They told me around five o'clock, six o'clock, people get out for work. They come to this area. They go, they socialize, get around, and next day they, they advise me to go around that time. But I don't want to sit around for three hours to do nothing. So I'd rather get out and walk and show you guys the city. So I'll probably come back maybe tomorrow around that time to check it out again. Or not part of the city, I have no idea, we'll see. Lord, so I need to cross this to get over there to go to San Antonio. How the heck am I supposed to cross this? I don't see any crossing bridge for walking. I have no idea. Huh. Let me walk that way and see if I can find a crossing place, but that's just an example of what the heck, you know? Stay tuned. There is a crossing bridge right there, so let's go to it. I've walked all over Medellin, I can tell you walking in Medellin is a little bit easier. But it's a smaller town, I guess, so it's not that much walking. That's the other benefit. That's a nice art. I call it graffiti before and people told me it's not called graffiti, it's called a mural. So that's a nice mural. Beautiful. And I love how that tree looks like it's painted on. This tree right here looks like it's painted on, but it's not. It's an actual real tree. Pretty cool. Okay, so I think I, I, think I see the... Th the uh, What's well, called Cerro Tres Cruces and Cali right here. So I see over here three crosses, but I'm not sure if that's the actual Tres Cruces, uh, Cerro Tres Cruces. They say that's a good hike. I'm gonna have to do that one of the days I'm here. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. It's a more colonial part of town. These the old traditional buildings. Yep, looks like it. So we're entering into San Antonio area. I believe. <laughs> Very nice. What I've noticed too is that there's less homeless people here than Medellin. That's, that's something else I've noticed. 
there's less homeless people, less people begging, and less people trying to sell you stuff. Hmm. It might be because of the heat. That might be the reason. I have no idea. Uh, Cafe Macondo. That's, I think that's in Jardin as well. El Jardin. Hmm. Very cool. I'm not seeing any place to eat lunch though. That's a problem. All right, let's continue. Beautiful buildings. The only, the only thing that's missing is Cobblestone Road. If they would have kept the Cobblestone Road here, it'll make it even nicer. Hmm. This one's for rent. I wonder how much that is for. I bet it's beautiful inside. I'm starting to get tired again, guys. I want to find lunch, walk some more, and maybe head back to my place to take a, a siesta before tonight so I can have energy to hang with the with my friends and not be a party pooper. <laughs> I'm guessing this area was very touristy. This was like the tourist area. And that's why it's so empty right now because this tourist hasn't come back yet. I'm guessing. Let me know in the comments if you know. But it's dead here. It's very beautiful though. Very beautiful. It reminds me of Cartagena walk around in the inner city, like the, um, the, get, the walled city. Except I think Cartagena has the cobblestones on the roads. All right, we're almost getting to the church over here. Looks like I'm gonna have to climb a mountain to get there. San Antonio Hotel Boutique. All right, let's go. All right, guys, I just asked about lunch somewhere. Cause it looks like, I think it's a touristy spot. I wanna ask the next person if this was a touristy spot and that's why it's so empty. But I'm gonna find the lunch. She was so nice. People have been here. People so far have been so nice. But one thing I always, I always say, when you're gonna to come to Colombia, live here, learn Spanish. That way you can talk to the people and actually interact and adapt to the culture. And if you need to learn Spanish, check out the link below. A link you get a discount with the, the school that I recommend. Uh, I think it's like online, $10 off, and in person, $100 off. Check the link below. All right, let's carry on. All right, guys, looks like we found an uh, almuerzo, lunch. What's a fritanga? I'm gonna find out. Let's find out. Stay tuned. I love this house with all the the vines on it. It's so beautiful. And it looks like the church trying to get to us up here. So let's eat first. All right, guys. So today they have a, what's called frijolada. I don't think I've ever had one of those before. Let's try it together. Uh, Eight thousand pesos frijolada with a limonada with a lemonade. So here in here in Cali they call this lemonade. In Medellin we call it cuarapo. <laughs> and it's. Doesn't matter where you're located, it tastes the same and it's delicious. Actually, this doesn't taste the same, it tastes different. It's still good though. What's what's the difference? I can't place it. It's definitely different. Definitely different. I think they don't put lim they don't put lime in here. That's the difference. They don't put lime. I imagine they do. Let me know in the comments if you know. So I did. So I Medellin. But Medellin, five years, Texas. No, Texas, Tejano. Americano, Bueno, 36 años. Ah, bueno. 36 años. Ah, bueno. 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 Ah, Eso, 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 pero es mi primera vez acá en Cali. Sí, en Cali. Y la gente muy amable. Sí, y el calorcito. la salsa. Todavía no, en la noche voy a, a, a bailar salsa, voy a ver. Ah, pero está lleno. No sé. Vea, usted quiere un sitio bueno donde se encuentra toda la gente turística, ah. venga a Topa Tolondra. ¿A dónde? Topa Tolondra, acá. Topa Tolondra, es un, aquí, es un, un, un pero, discoteca. Sí, pequeña, ah. pero da mucha gente europea. No, nah, pero a mí me gustan más los, los colombianos. Sí, se llena de todo. También. Pero la, eh. Los bailarines, Ajá. los profesores. Ajá. Ahí. Ah, muy bien. Ahora el ocho días, el viernes, yo estaba que parecía casi sin pandemia. Ah, bueno. Sí. 
Pues, se y, llama la topa tolondra. Perfecto. Y, y voy a contar la cámara. Eh, me dijeron, they told me that here during the daytime, doesn't matter, it's not about the pandemic. It's because during the daytime, this place is always empty. And at nighttime, after four o'clock, this place gets great, like full with people. So come at four. Desde, desde las 4. No, aquí sí, la desde topa es a las 7. Ya Pero si, si, si la gente quiere conocer esa parte, mejor ah, después sí, de las 4. Claro, que ya hay más Cinco. gente, sí, ya hay más gente. Sí. So come at 4, 5 o'clock, don't come at 2 o'clock like me. <laughs> But I'll probably come back to show you guys what it looks like, yeah? Stay tuned for that. And up, here's the, la frijolada. La frijolada. La frijolada, look at this. It's a bean soup, I believe. Yeah, just basic beans. Yeah, just frijoles, you know? Sí, ricas. Está bueno. ¿Y qué, qué hago? Con, ¿Pongo arroz y todo eso dentro claro, o no? No, le arroz un poquito, claro. Pues, arroz un poquito. Voy poniendo un poco de arroz adentro, el arroz. Ah. ¿Y usted extra, extraña uh, Estados Unidos? ¿Ah? ¿Usted extraña Nueva York? Sí. Sí, ¿de qué extraña? Pues yo en Nueva York hice toda mi historia laboral. Yo trabajé en Nueva York 30 años, 35 años, 34 Ajá. años. ¿En qué trabajó usted? En seguridad. Ah, seguridad. Ajá. En los trenes, en los eh, edificios del gobierno, Ajá. En, en hoteles de, 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 de primera clase, Ajá. Eh, administra, en edificios administrativos, Ajá. en clubes, Ajá. de todo. Muchos años de security. Ah, muy bien. Trabajo en una agencia de seguridad. Ah. All right, guys, my, my, my camera died out when I was talking, but he basically was saying he lived 30 years in the States. Came over here, he pension, he retires his pension funds, coming over here, living life right here, he loves it. This is what, he's from here, he loves the life here, he loves the people, the, he said the women too. <laughs> and everything, so yeah, it was good. And she was telling me that she loves Medellin because of the weather. But uh, let me show you all the food real quick. So it's beans, looks like steak, like beef, with onions on top. Uh, what's this called? Ah, that red, uh, um, dang it, I forgot the name. Rebo, re, rebo, ah. It's the red beetroot, beets, beets, and then rice, of course. So, kind of similar to Medellin. Let me eat my food, I'll come right back to y'all. Okay, I want to do a, a question real quick. Listen up. So, ¿cuál diferencia usted ve de, entre me, porque usted conoce Medellin y, cono, y tiene 15 años acá en Cali? ¿Cuál diferencia usted ve entre Cali y Medellin? Yeah, la diferencia que yo veo acá la gente es muy amable. Exacto, es como en Medellín son más orgullosos de, por ejemplo, de tránsito, el metro. ¿Y qué pasa aquí? Que allá en Medellín hay gobernantes Ajá. y roban, pero invierten en su ciudad. Ajá. Ah, es cierto, son corruptos en Medellín, pero no pero tan corruptos. Si no tan, sí, 100% corruptos. No invierten. Ah, interesante. So there, there you go, guys. There's some difference between Medellín and Colombia. I'm sorry, Medellín and Cali. On a person who likes Medellín more. So I'm gonna try to find someone who likes Cali more. Get, get their opinion. Stay tuned. Hi, right, guys. So this lady here is a wealth of knowledge right here in Calle 2, Carrera 9. Come eat lunch here. Come drink coffee and she'll just give you all the knowledge you need. So kind, so nice. All right, let's walk to the, let's walk to the church. Now, that was a lot of food. I didn't finish it all, but it was good, it was good. Nice mural, very beautiful. All right, let's continue. Now turn the camera on. I'm getting tired, guys. Oh, that's nice inside. Huh. All right, stay tuned. Just imagine who, how many people walked up these stairs, how many years, how many years ago when these were built. So cool. Uh, Alright, let's climb the mountain. Let's get up there. The weather's nice. I kind of wish I, like I said, came before because it's not as bad as I expected. 
I expected it to be like Houston, but it's nothing like Houston at all. All right, let's carry on. I have to tell you, the taxi ride from where I was to where I got off was around, I think, 7,200, I believe. So it's pretty cheap. Not that bad. That's one thing I know about Cali is it's, the cost of living is a lot lower. Or not, not sure a lot lower, but it's definitely lower than Medellin. And the cost of living in Medellin is very low compared to the States. That's a cool restaurant. Sisa Atahualpa. Looks awesome. All right, let's go. So it looks like the sellers are setting up because as everybody tells me at four o'clock and on, people come here. It's three o'clock right now. I'm too early. Hmm. But it's like a big park. Very cool. Buenas. Hermosa las cosas. Gracias. Uh-huh. ¿Usted es de acá? Sí, soy de acá. Ah, okay. Gracias. Yo tengo redes sociales. Puedes seguir mis trabajos allí. Ah, perfecto. Akira Ran. Akira Ran. Vea. Akira Ran, guys, right there. Tienda online. Huh? Estoy en Facebook and Instagram. Ah, muy bien. Vamos a ver su suarta. Vamos a mostrar a la gente. Hermosa. Tell me, guys. Do you like it? Which one do you like? <laughs> Muy bien. Vea, Instagram, arroba or at Akira, A K I R A dot R A N, like Ran 13, 13. Look her up. There you go. ¿Y usted vende por la línea también? Sí, también vendo. Uh, ¿Por todo el mundo? ¿O solo Colombia? Solo Colombia. A nivel del mundo no tengo conexiones ah. para salir, pero sí hago a nivel Colombia. Ah, ok. So for you guys anywhere in Colombia you want to buy from, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Usted? ¿Atira? Oh, Jenny. Jenny, okay. If you guys want to buy from Jenny, Hola. look her up. <laughs> Later. ¿Y a, ¿A qué hora llega la gente acá? Eh, va a empezar a llegar tipo 5, 6. ¿Y ese se llena con gente? Uy, sí, se llena bastante. Ah, esto es muy temprano, ah. ¿sí o no? Sí, pues nosotros venimos temprano, hay gente que le gusta venir temprano. Hey. Pero ya si quiere ver como gentecita, más tardecito. Ah, bueno. Sí, en la iglesia, pues viendo la iglesia mientras. Perfecto. Sí. Mañana re regreso, más tarde. No, super, genial. <ríe> Chao. Dale, bienvenido. Gracias. Bienvenido. Gracias. Dale. <ríe> very nice. Jenny was very nice. So, and her accent, is that a Cali accent? Guys, again, it's the first time for me to come to, to Cali. I, don't, I haven't heard a Cali accent really. I mean, I've been, most people I've been talking to, actually, I talked to a few people from Cali. She had a different accent. She didn't sound like she was from Cali. That's why I asked her if she was from Colombia. Like another part or what. Hmm. I like I came I'm coming over here so I like this view. Check out this view guys. Hold on. See all the, the tiled Spanish roofs? So pretty. So pretty. Hmm. So it seems like all the artists come out here to sell. Setting up shop right now. So if you guys are artists, you want to come sell, here's a spot. <laughs> Let's go find out how old this church is. Looks like a news channel is happening or a TV show. Oh, we got a drone here too. Somebody's fancy. There he is. <laughs> I need to get me a drone, guys. What What do you think? Here's a better view. All right, so let's go to this church. <laughs> I think they're doing a commercial. That's the, that's the director saying that, that that's the devil, that's the bad guy. I guess the good guy is the clown, I'm not sure. All right, let's check out this church. <laughs> Very cool. It's Lo Malo, he's the bad guy. I need me a director to direct my films, my YouTube channel. Beautiful church. I wonder if I can go inside. 
Hmm. I'm gonna go try to find something that's, that talks about the history. Let's see the commercial. Good stuff, man. That's that's what you call acting. That's what you call acting. <laughs> Very good. Iglesia San Antonio. There's the old bells, the church bells. Can we go inside? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing because of the pandemic, unfortunately. Let me get out of the way of these pictures. Let me get out of the way of the pictures. Ah. Okay. So you see they're doing like multiple takes of dancing. It's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Huh. As you guys know, I don't take multiple takes, man. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Oh, this beautiful house here. Let's say they turn into a restaurant right here. It's a happening place. It's really cool. Nice breeze. I mean, I'm not hot at all. Like I said, I think this is like California weather because some people tell me in California it does get kind of hot but I'm guessing like this kind of hot not like Texas hot Alright, let's walk this way and see what we find I need to walk up the food I ate, there's a lot of food Hmm I'm guessing this church is super old and the neighborhood around the church is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Cali. Now, this is just my guess. I didn't do any research. Oh, there's a couple stones over here. Let's go down this way. Let's see. I didn't do any research. I'm just using observation skills. And I'm thinking this is a super old church. It's high up. So my thought process is it's high up for defense, right? Because when you want to attack something, you, it's better to have the high ground versus the low ground. If you want, I'm sorry, if you want to defend something, it's better to have the high ground versus the low ground. So they built their church high for defense back in the day when they had to defend themselves from, I'm not sure, the Spaniards when they were colonizing. I have no idea, I'm guessing. I'm telling a story that could be totally fictitious, but it's probably the oldest church in Cali. And this neighborhood here around this church is probably one of the oldest uh, neighborhoods in Cali. Now, let me know in the comments below if I'm correct or if I'm full of doggy poop. <laughs> you know what I mean? And tell me the story. Let's hear it. Comment below. Or maybe I'll talk to somebody and get the story from them. But the problem is, is I'm not seeing many people. Not many people. I'm too early. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm gonna go to a different part of town or I'll come back here later in the evening. We'll see. I'll talk to somebody and find out what to do.